Hey freaks, JJ Kai Morris here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, since I did, I've been doing this whole quarterly update thing. I decided I just might as well stick with it. So this is a quarter three update for the year 2022. Um, and I did some not so exciting things, such as writing a really terrible book um, this quarter. And uh, I guess I did some other good things. So we'll dive into that um, here if you hang on for the rest of this video. First of all, I left off with my last video talking about how excited I was about writing this new project that I was working on. I guess even in that video, I was a little bit like, ah, I don't know about this story that I'm writing. It's kind of not working. Um, and so I decided to kind of set it aside and come back to it a little bit later and, you know, fix it and make it make it wonderful like I imagined. So I did that. I, I let it sit for a while and then I came back after about, I think, six weeks. Um, and took a look at it and I was like, okay, I can fix this. I can fix this. And I was like very like determined that I could fix it. And I still hadn't written the ending to it. So I was like, all right, let me go back and fix some of the, um, you know, the developmental edits that I knew needed fixing before I could move on to the end. So I fixed some of the character things that were not quite working. And then I wrote the end and I was not happy while writing the end. I was not feeling hopeful that this would be anything good. And I just didn't, I just, didn't feel anything exciting about it. So I tacked on an ending that's really not that great and just, I don't know, it just wasn't working. So I think, and so I was like, yeah, I can try and, you know, spend months on fixing it and getting it into something that might resemble a decent book. But uh, then I'm like, well, why spend all that time and energy on something that I'm not even excited about? Um, so I was kind of, I started working on the revisions, but then I kind of sort of fell off a little bit burnt out a little bit just unhappy with my my writing so uh i think i kind of made the tough decision to just shelf it for now and uh yeah i i definitely plan on coming back to it a little bit later maybe or maybe just stealing elements of it for a different book or something but um yeah i don't know this one was kind of sad because i was like oh i've written this will have been i think my fourth book that i've written i'm like all right by book four i should know how to write a book like i'm just gonna get better and better as i keep writing but this one for some reason i just was not i don't know it was just not not as as good as i thought it was gonna be um and i feel like part of it might be because i i kind of maybe forced some plot things to work when it just wasn't working. I think I, I think I over plotted this one. And like, I love plotting. Like that's one of my favorite steps of the process is plotting out, you know, and planning how everything's going to work together. It's like doing a puzzle, you know, you know, the things that you want to happen, but you have to figure out how to get them to happen in an organic way. And I think I over plotted it and I just made things fit where it didn't feel natural for things to fit. I think if I had plotted less and just kind of let the story um, go where I felt like it needed to go, um, kind of discovery writing in along the way that I think it would have turned out uh, a little bit better. So yeah, I guess that's that's a lesson learned. Um, and at least I wrote it, you know, it's, I wouldn't really call it done. Um, but at least it's, it's um, there, I guess. I don't know. I finished it and it's not great. But at least now I know that it's not great and I can kind of move on to something else or come back to it years from now and figure out what the hell this mess was. Um, if there's anything redeeming about it. So yeah, and part of the reason why I decided to kind of move on from this book is that I'm kind of getting excited about writing a new one. So like when I was writing the ending for this book and I was kind of like trying to figure out if I should even keep working on it, I was just really, I don't know, kind of like sad and unmotivated about the whole writing process thing. And so I was just, I don't know, just not happy with myself or, or my craft. And so uh, I took a little break and I decided to start reading. And that's actually what kind of re-sparked my excitement for this whole, the whole writing craft is just reading some really excellent books and um, having that kind of inspire me to write something new. So yeah, I think I decided I'm going to write another book. Hopefully um, next quarter, by the end of this year, I'll have written another book and hopefully it will be a lot better than this one that I just tried to write. Not really sure what it's going to be about exactly. I have like just sort of a really vague idea of what, what it's going to be um, and kind of really just like a character that I think is interesting. But this one, I might try and um, discovery write this one. I might try and pants this one a little bit more than I've done my other books. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe that's what was missing from my last one is I just 
was too rigid on my on my plotting so maybe this one I'll just kind of get like a general idea of where it's going to go and then just kind of figure it out as I go along I haven't done that at all ever since except for like the first book I wrote I think usually when you write your very first book it's a lot of discovery writing so uh well I might try that out as a tactic for this next one um but I have to figure out what it's even going to be about because I'm not really sure but I have bought a few books that are like nonfiction books about some like interesting interesting subjects that I think I want to incorporate in this book so that's where I'm headed next on my writing journey but let's see what else did I do this quarter I put in my second round of query letters I've been rejected by almost all of them of course um but I did do another twitter pitch war uh what one was this I think it was oh this was the uh science fiction fantasy uh uh, Twitter pitch for. And I got two likes from two agents, um, sent my um, query letter off to both of them. Uh, first one reject- first one was a rejection, but the second one was a full manuscript request. So now I officially have it, two full manuscript requests out there in the universe, in, you know, people's inboxes. The first one that I sent out months and months ago in my, you know, last update, uh, I have not heard anything back from that, uh, from that publisher but it did take her about three months just to read my query letter so you know I feel like maybe that's just how backlogged she is so it might I don't know I'm if I don't hear anything by the end of the year I'll probably reach out but yeah I don't know if I don't know if like not hearing anything after a full request is kind of a rejection or if it's just like this person's just busy um which I'm assuming is the case or at least I'm hoping is the case is that she's just super busy um which I understand and then so the second one is uh second full manuscript request that I got was from an agent and yeah I sent that out oh I don't know um a couple months ago um so I don't know well that's just a waiting game I guess but yeah again trying not to get too excited for that um but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, there is another uh, Twitter pitch war coming up, I think, next month that I'm... Um, oh, is it this month? Maybe it's maybe it's this month. I don't know. Sometime soon. But I'm excited to participate in that. So pretty much what I've learned so far in this querying process, I think I've sent out maybe like 25 um, queries or so. Uh, I've learned that pretty much the slush pile is, is not a great place to be. Um, I've gotten nothing but form rejections from, you know, just sending sending off a cold query. Um, the only places that I found success as far as like full manuscript requests has been through these Twitter pitch wars. So I think it's definitely really true what they say about the publishing industry and it's not exactly what you know, it's who you know and it's like, you know, you have to kind of find a way to get into people's inboxes without being a stranger, you know, some kind of way of just, I don't know. It's it's tough, but I'm in no way an expert on the in the uh, query trenches, so to speak. So yeah, maybe that's not exactly true, but just so far in my experience, that's what I found is that yeah, cold querying sucks. And <laughs> yeah, if this this book that I'm trying to query doesn't end up getting published anytime soon, that's totally fine with me. Um, it's okay. I've kind of uh, sort of forgotten about it a little bit and moved on to different things. So that's kind of my update on what I've been doing and working on um, the past three months. Another exciting thing that I did this quarter was I worked with a uh, copy editor and proofreader for the first time. It's a kind of cool. I actually uh, found a copy editor uh, slash proofreader. He uh, he found me through my YouTube channel, which is cool. I've met so many incredible people through YouTube. So this is probably one of the best things about about having a YouTube channel is just the cool and incredible people that you get to meet. Anyway, he's a huge fan of Coheed and Cambria. So that's how he found my channel. And then he found out I was a writer. Anyway, so I was working on kind of revamping the uh, ghost rock opera short story that I wrote, um, maybe like a year and a half, two years ago or something like that. Because I... I was never really happy with the way that I packaged it like it's just a PDF file that you get and I really wanted it to be like an actual ebook that you can open on like Apple Books or like Kindle or whatever and so I decided I was going to do that um, and kind of revamp it and make it like a nice actually like nice packaged little reader magnet type of thing and so I wanted to get it professionally edited so I went through and I made a lot of edits because <laughs> my writing has changed hopefully for the better um, a lot in the past uh two years, year and a half, however long it's been since I originally wrote that. So I re-edited it myself and then I had a couple of my uh, writer friends uh, beta read it as well and then 
then I sent it off to my uh, proofreader friend. And yeah, so it, it was really a great experience to kind of see how that process worked and how, I don't know, just how, how, how to accept changes on a, on a Word document and stuff like that. That was like a, a learning process for me. But yeah, I was really happy with the feedback that I got back and the you know level of professionalism and just the attention to detail that this editor gave me. So I was really happy with that and I'm really excited to work with him in the future. But yeah, I was really surprised to find it like, there's just a lot of things I had never even thought about as far as like certain words and the usage and, you know, whether or not it should be capital, not capital type of thing. I just didn't even really think about. And I'm really excited that I got connected with this editor because um, he is awesome. So if you are looking for a proofreader copy editor, I'll put that down in the description. As far as my goals for the next quarter, it's definitely to write the first draft of this next book that's I'm going to end up writing. Um, can't really say much about it at the moment because I don't really know, first of all. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to figure out, you know, try out new new ways of writing this next one. Maybe not be so um, plotter heavy with it. Also, um, as far as the Illyria project goes, having that full story uh, published, I think that might not be until the new year, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, so yeah, we'll be working on that, getting that into its final edited form. Yeah, that's really it. Just getting, getting the Illyria story worked out and... Um, finalized and then also writing that new story and hopefully not getting burned out in the process. There's also like a ton of books that I want to read as well. So I might spend the rest of this month just reading and kind of doing a lot of research and just kind of putting together like a loose outline. Um, and then maybe I will c participate in the NaNoWriMo for November, which I've never done. I have written a book in a month, um, which is what I did all of June uh, with that book that I ended up not liking. <laughs> um, uh, I think I got to like 56,000 words in that month or something. So I know I can do it. It's just, you know, whether or not I want to c commit to actually forcing myself to complete it in a month or if I want to kind of relax and, and not put that pressure on myself, which I think might be another thing why I was not so excited about this last book I wrote is because I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to like get it done, get it done. Whereas, I don't know, maybe if I was not quite so, so crazy about like getting my word count in, if I were to just relax and say, it'll get done when it gets done, then maybe I would have taken a lot of pressure off myself and I wouldn't have been, and I would have been, maybe I would have been more excited about the process. But I think I can get in 50,000 words in a month. Um, so maybe I'll kind of use that as like a starting point type of goal for all of November. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't fully committed to the NaNoWriMo yet, but I have a feeling that I'll probably end up doing a lot of writing in November uh, either way. So anyway, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me talk about my uh, awful experience writing a bad book, uh, but I guess it's all part of the learning process or whatever. Uh, <laughs> my dad always says um, whenever something bad happens or something like disappointing, he always calls it a learning experience. So that's, I guess, an optimistic way of looking at writing a really terrible book is at least I learned something here or there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to get notified when I do my next quarterly update or when I talk about books and such next. Um, I am planning on doing um, another collaboration with one of my friends, uh, another writer friend of mine. So uh, that will probably be next on the horizon for this channel. Subscribe to my reader community if you want to get emails from me and bonus content and all that junk. Um, I will hopefully be uploading a whole um, video of my bloopers from both my channels onto my private community playlist for readers. Thanks for watching. Till next time.